Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Legacy Football 4 box pick your team number 18. And if you bought at least two teams, if you follow the instructions here, you got a chance to win some break credit, which would be pretty nice. Um, no vet common ship, everything else does. Just turn on my camera, it's our first break of the day. Yeah, there we go. All right, final four box of this case. And thanks to everyone here for making it happen. We were able to do this straight up. Aaron, getting the last two teams straight up, giving himself an entry, and double last spot mojo. That's why he has a little stars next to his name. And let's see what we got here. Now, it's a dilemma. Tanner has a dilemma. He has the Bengals. If he gets a... Uh, oh, your your Joe Burrow dare to tear card. When it gets here, what are you gonna? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Do you dare to tear, or do you not? I think he was saying he was saying that uh, it's numbered to sixty five, and untorn it goes for two forty. Now, do we know what's what's inside? Can I'm assuming uh, short print and mini cards, right? Now, if there are some minis inside those Dare to Tear cards that are like, that are going for more than an unripped Dare to Tear card, untorn, that, that would make it very difficult. A very difficult decision. like Karen Williams wanted to pop out there. There you go. I'll go to the Rams. All right, and away we go. First break of our day. We got Drew Pearson to 2.99, and there's a dare to tear Kyler Murray. 44 out of 65. Ryan Heinz with the Cardinals. We'll ship that to you, Ryan. We'll ship it to you like this. And if you dare to tear, let us know what's inside. We got a David Jabo to 100. That will be for Patrick and the Ravens. Got a Tua Tungo Bailoa to 150. Could be a big season for him. And a Kenny Pickett. Who apparently he's going to get more. Uh, Get some more reps, see what they got out of him. There's Matthew Stafford, mini. And we got a Kyle Hamilton gold ink autograph. That is for Patrick and the Purple Birds. Five out of 50. I'm not sure if he wasn't following instructions or if that's what he intended to do. And Brett Favre is numbered. That is to 100. That'll be for Tyrone and the Packers.
say Verizon has the largest and fastest 5G network, but they don't. We only cover select cities with 5G, and we coverage of over 96% of interstate highway miles. And we have an Alec Pierce dual relic and autograph. That is 002 out of 249. Alec Pierce is a wide receiver for the Colts. And that will be for Patrick Davis with the Colts. We got Justin Fields to 199, another QB. Um, that needs to have a big season. Two out of five, Jordan Davis for the Eagles. Nice, Patrick Davis. Would you? Is Justin Fields at a crossroads? Justin Fields to a Tonga Bailoa? Maybe they get another season, but these days, you know. You're a first or second round quarterback. I think the expectations are to produce almost immediately when you start starting. Uh, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. Patrick Davis, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, box one in the books. Next box. Packers wide receivers apparently met with the quarterbacks after Aaron Rodgers' rant. Let me try to get on the same page there. Jets coach on week one saying if Zach Wilson's ready, he'll play. That's another quarterback that needs to... Then we, we need to see improvements from him in his second year. Yeah, quarterback picket to get more, quote, varsity action versus the Jaguars. Apparently Giants QB, here's another QB that needs to needs to show what he can do. He's gonna be a future starter or not. Daniel Jones had a non-football neck procedure. That was a non-football neck procedure. It's cosmetic, maybe? New York Giants quarterback Daniel Jones revealed Thursday he underwent a non-football related procedure on his neck this past winter. He was adamant that the procedure was not related to the next problem that sidelined him for the final six games of the season. Hmm. Yeah, apparently there's a six inch scar on his upper chest indicating that he had undergone some surgery. It's kind of a big... Kind of a big scar. I'd be curious too. Got a John Elway to 100. That goes to Tanner in Denver.
Malik Willis will go to uh, the Titans, Ryan Heinz. We've got a Jalen Tolbert to 299 for the Cowboys. Nestor with Dallas. So under the lights mini, Joe Burrow. Not numbered. And we got a Isaiah Likely. A likely story going to uh, Patrick and the Ravens. Yellow parallel to 150. That is Kobe Bryant. That'll be for the Seahawks. That's going to go to Ryan Stewart. And we got a Danny Gray autograph. Rookie auto for the Niners. That'll be for Gabe Chilo. Forty-two out of one hundred. A Texas high school track champion. A four-three-three forty. Wow. And we'll stretch the field out for the uh, for the Niners this season. Got Brandon Cooks to two ninety nine for the Texans. Oh, and another base rookie card, Kenny Pickett for Peter and Pittsburgh. Patrick has the Texans. And we got an orange Kyler Murray. That is to one twenty five. Ryan H with the Arizona football Cardinals. All right, halfway through this four box break. The next four box break of Legacy is, uh, is from a fresh case. If you want to start working on that, I, I'd be more than happy to do so. Same promo too, by an even number of teams, get a chance at break credit. What's the story with uh, Tom Brady? Buccaneers coach Todd Bowles non-committal Thursday when asked by reporters about a return date for quarterback Tom Brady, who's been away with the team since August 11th, to tend to what has been described as personal things. When Bowles announced that Brady would be stepping away, he said Brady would be back after the Bucks' second preseason game at the Titans Saturday Night National, meaning the earliest Brady could return to practice with the team would be Monday, August 22nd. But Bowles did not provide a clear return date. On Thursday, he said he wasn't sure when Brady would actually return. Despite Brady's absence being pre-planned weeks ago, prior to training camp, what's going on? Is there actually something happening, or are we making mountains out of molehills? Maybe back to school stuff for the kids. out of 50, Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey, fantasy football-wise, may not be drafted as high 
or uh, or for as much if you're in an auction league like me. Um, but I wonder that could be a huge upside guy, right? If you if you can get him late in the draft or for for a lower salary in an auction draft, and then he puts together like a 16, 17 game healthy season. Ooh. That might be a good deal. I'll have to think about that. Mark Andrews to 150. Yellow paper for for Patrick and the Ravens, the Purple Birds. We got a mini Carson Strong. Another Kenny Pickett and Three color, dual relic, and autograph, Trey McBride. Trey McBride is a tight end for the Arizona Football Cardinals. Ryan Heinz with that one, 15 out of 25. Apparently, uh, according to Arizona Sports, he'll play on Sunday after make his debut on Sunday after uh, preseason action after a back issue apparently at sideline in. You can find some low numbered Kenny Pickett's or an autograph or something. Out of 299, there's Deuce McAllister for the Saints. Saints legend Peter. And. Under the lights autograph, that's Kenneth Walker the third. Orange parallel, ninety-two out of one hundred. A running back for the Seahawks. Oh, apparently, impressive Seahawks rookie Ken Walker out indefinitely. Apparently a day ago, he had a procedure, undergoing undisclosed procedure. I don't like that. But not a sports hernia procedure. All right, which, which I guess would, would take much longer to recover. So hopefully we'll see him in action this season. Russell Wilson. For the Broncos to 100. That'll be Tanner in Denver. Orange mini here. Uh, Hassan Haskins, 60 out of 125. Ryan H with the Titans. Final box coming up. Fourth and final box. Remember, the next four boxes are from a fresh case. That's loaded up right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I know there's not too much NFL on the site, but, but there's going to be a lot more NFL coming up in the, in the coming weeks, so get ready. I think Select Football is finally on the calendar, official. I don't think it's going to get pushed back again. I think that's at the end of the month. That might be next Wednesday, actually, now that I think about it. Are we work because we're already at the end of the month? Yeah, next Wednesday, I believe it's still slated for August 24th, 2021. Select football is finally coming out. Um, so I'm sure we'll have pre orders loaded up. I don't know, it could be any time at the latest, a day or two before Wednesday, but who knows? It could be earlier, so check the website every day, jaskyscasebreaks.com. 
here's the here's a unique thing about um, select football this year. Remember uh, how select football has those XRC cards because it's usually released way before the draft, and then you got to wait till the draft and see who QB one is or wide receiver three or whatever. Well, since we're so far past the draft, they've actually printed those cards already, and they're going to be in uh, in the new product. Might, which might make the pricing a little a little tricky for uh, for Nick Jaspi. It's a blend of 21 and 22, but keep an eye out for that football fans. I know there's been a lot of baseball, a lot of basketball, but football fans, you're finally going to see some uh, some football coming your way. 12 out of 100. Andrew Booth Jr. from Minnesota. Sean Robinson with that one. To 199, that is Jerry Rice for Gabe and the Niners. Uh, Deshaun Watson to 299. Looks like he'll be out for a little bit. And we got a Damian Pierce. I think the first game that Deshaun Watson's back, I think, might be against the Texans. This is for Patrick and the Texans. And we got another Kobe Bryant. This is a 66 out of 100 numbered card. And we have a... A George Karloftis autograph the the under the lights auto. A defensive end for the Chiefs. And that's going to go to Gilo. That's his team, Kansas City Chiefs. According to the Top Stories headline from Google, uh, Chiefs rookie defensive end George Karloftis among pressure leaders in preseason week one. So, good, good news for, well, maybe not good news for me as a Raiders fan, but good news for Chiefs fans. Definitely could use uh, use some defense. Portland Sutton to 199. Got a Desmond Ritter as well for the Falcons, Rick T. Portland Sutton for Tanner and the Broncos. We got a mini Kirk Cousins, 25 out of 50. And that, my friends, is the break. Now, if you follow the instructions in the description and you bought at least two teams, you can get some entries. You got a shot at some break credit. Let's alphabetize by your first names here. Aaron bought two teams. That's an entry. Gilo bought two teams. That's an entry. So did Nestor. Patrick bought six teams. Half of those become entries. Peter bought two. That's an entry. Rick bought two. That's an entry. Ryan H bought two. That's an entry. Ryan S. Bought four, that's two entries. Uh, Sean bought four, Sean Robinson bought four, that's two entries. And Tanner bought four, that's two entries. Right, let me just spot check those again. Didn't get a spot, got spots. Sean, Ryan S, Ryan H, Rick, Peter, Patrick, Nestor, 
Gabe and Aaron. All right, so two out of these 15 spots. Top two after nine will get $125 of break credit each. After nine times, fingers crossed, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and fingers crossed, ninth and final time after nine. Gilo and Tanner, congrats to you. $125 of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye.